Speaking of spooky <laughs> season, the Hermitage's annual Arts and Crafts Fair is back this weekend. The Meet Your Maker Halloween Market will feature some of our area's best artists. And our Sam Carter is live at Hermitage Farm with the details this morning. Hey, Sam. Back here one final time on the grounds of Hermitage Farm. It's a truly breathtakingly beautiful place. I've never really been out here before. I'm glad I did, and I'll probably be coming back on my own personal time. And I got Charlotte Pollock with me, who is the resident maker, resident craftsperson here. And we're kind of celebrating you, but also celebrating uh, this weekend's Meet Your Makers Festival, which 36 makers will be around. But you are here all the time. Your products are here all the time, They're the Hermitage Farm products. Yes. Um, why don't you take us through? I'd love to start with this soap, because this soap is not your average stuff you'd find on the aisle at a grocery store. Yes, yeah, so I work closely with our horticulture team. All of the soap is made here on the farm by me. Um, and we'll use just kind of an abundance of what grows in our garden here. So, um, for example, our butternut squash soap was ma made from um, an abundance of butternut squash last season. Oh, wow. So I pureed the squash, put it in the soap. But, yeah, we kind of have a little bit of everything here. So can I, I just really, when you guys are making this, you say an abundance of, of butternut squash, do you guys not know in advance? You guys not like, are you like, wow, we got a lot of great squash this year. We need to turn this into soap? Well, some of the squash is prettier for the restaurant, and some of it isn't so pretty, but it's still really good squash. Oh, so that's, awesome. that's where I come into play. So it's kind of like all of the buffalo. Everything gets used yes, in, in some way. exactly. That is so cool. Now, if you or someone, if you have, if you're into the, one of these people, chances, if you're not, chances are your significant other is, mine is, they're into candles. Yes. And those are made right here too, right? They are, and they're actually all named after different areas of our farm. Oh, cool. Um, so Teaser Stallion. Teaser Stallion. That's my nickname in high school. <laughs> We've got uh, the Sinking Fork is actually named after the creek that runs behind our farm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the Kentucky Hug is a really popular one, named after that good burn that uh, bourbon gives you. Oh, when that's you wonderful. Taste I've never heard that phrase before. Yeah, yeah. That's really, really neat. Now, um, people can if they, they can stop by the farm store and pick these up if they want to. Good stocking stuffers, I think. But yes. they can also get it online. How can people find you and how can people find the stuff online? So um, our online shop is hermitagefarm.com. We sell everything online there. And then my Instagram is Charlotte Ann Makes, um, and that's where you can see all of my work. Awesome. That's yeah. right, guys. Yeah, I want to thank Hermitage for having me all day. The Maker Festival is this weekend. It is Meet Your Makers Halloween Craft Show. You can catch it this weekend, 11 to 6. It's going to be a good time. It is going to be a good time. There's yeah. going to be lots of stuff for the kids, and Very, hopefully yeah. that weather plays out, too.